Sometimes you have a JavaScript object and you would like to just populate some variables with its properties or pass them as parameters to a function in a quick, clean and easy way. Or if it's an array, struct its elements without having to use the indexes for each element. You can use the destructuring assignment for this. In this quick tips episode, you will learn how. Keep watching. Hi there, I'm Manuel Gutierrez from delighthouse.co and in this quick tips series, I will share snackable videos focusing on just one feature or problem. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe and the bell notification buttons below so you don't miss a thing. Let's start. First, we can check on canIuse.com in which browsers slash versions the destructuring assignment is supported. I'm going to use the browser for this video. So let's head to either Chrome or Firefox and open the developer tools. This can be accomplished by pressing F12 on your Windows machine or function and F12 keys on your Mac. Let's say that we have a really simple object with A, B and C as properties. To assign the value for each property, we would need to define the variables between opening and closing curly braces. The assignment operator, and finally, the object that we want to destructure. We can now use the assigned variables the way we would normally do. So in this case, I can just print all of them to the console. For functions, we also declare the parameters between opening and closing curly braces, and that's it. This is something you might see a lot in React.js applications. Now, if what we have is an array, the syntax is very similar. But in this case, the variables are defined between opening and closing brackets instead. Then, the assignment operator and finally the array that we want to destructure. Then we can just print the variables to the console as we normally do. And as before, for functions, if we want to receive an array and destructure it, we use opening and closing brackets around the parameters being defined. Awesome, congratulations and thanks for watching. You can join the free mini course associated with this video by clicking on the link in the description below. Share any comments or suggestions about the series or future topics. And if you like the video, also hit the like button below.